Tom, you're back at the fly this year playing for Forge once again. How does that feel? Yeah, really good. Um, I'm looking forward to it. We had we had a really good group of people in, in my first year with the fly. It was a lot of fun. Um, I'm really interested to see kind of how much of that carries on. And then obviously we're going to have some new faces and stuff. So see if we can see if we can kind of merge the two together and, and keep bits of those culture and, and find some some new bits, too. You've also been named as the Forge men's team icon, and that's obviously somebody who embodies the Sixes game and the Flies ethos, as well as someone who can inspire the next generation of Sixes player. Um, what does it mean to you to be named as as the icon of the Forge team? Yeah, it's very flattering, very flattering for sure. I'm not sure uh, if I've ever been described as an icon before, so so I'll uh, yeah, I'm definitely pleased about that one. No, I I really. You know, I was sceptical about the Sixers game at first, for sure, and and I've really been won over by it 100%. Um, you know, particularly me being a, a person who's really interested in box lacrosse, um, I think there's I think there's some real opportunities for the game in in Sixers. So I'm I'm delighted really to be a, a kind of a champion for it. And as you mentioned, you played for Forge back in 2021. Um, when your team unfortunately narrowly lost out in the final to Rise. Um, just if you can remember back, what was that like to be so close to the title and then sort of lose out narrowly? Uh, the whole tournament was a great experience, to be honest with you. And I, I kind of have said have said that to a lot of my teammates at Spencer and um, some of the London Knights people that I'm, I'm coaching at the moment whilst I'm injured. Um, it, it was a fantastic experience. It was very well run. It was really good fun, you know. Losing in the final is, is never is never great, um, but I was really pleased actually the way that our team turned things around. I think the first the first weekend we were like zero and three, I think, um, and then we came back for the knockout stages and and really put you know started to find our identity and put a few performances together and and just lost. Um, did you say it was by one? I can't remember the final score. One or two, yeah. one. So um, you know, we had some great players on that team. People that I really love, genuinely love playing with. The, the likes of El Leonard and and Dan Watson and and Toom, who all put really good performances together. So you know, I kind of choose to take away the positives rather than l- let that feeling of of just narrowly missing out linger on too much. This year, you'll also be playing under head coach Connor Dockery, um, and he won the title last year in 2022 with the Forge women's team, um, and he also finished second in the first year with the with the women's team. Um, how are you looking forward to to working with him? Yeah, it'd be great. Um, I know Connor really well, so he and I have been teammates for for London Knights in box lacrosse, and then we've played against each other a lot down here in in Semla. Um, Connor was at EG. I think I don't know if we've ever played together for the South or not, but yeah, know him really well. Um, I think we have, I think we have a, a a small pool of excellent coaches around at the moment. You know, people who are doing it full time for a living, which is um, you know, which which enables them to get to a, a really strong level. And and Connor is one of those people. Um, so I'm I'm really excited to to kind of learn from him and um and see you know what the difference is between him who does it for a living and then you know me any any coaching I've done in the past is obviously just kind of part time so it's a good op- you know good opportunity for me to learn from him you're also coming into the fly 2023 off the back of captain in England to European box lacrosse championship glory last summer um how do you think that experience can help you and the forge team at the fly um any time that you're involved in a, a performance like that, you, you know, you, you definitely keep a lot of that with you in terms of what you aspire to be as a player and, and what you think is the right way to to run a team and communicate with your teammates and, and all of that stuff. So I really hope that, um, you know, some of the some of the great culture that we had in that team and, and kind of the the good vibes, for for lack of a better word, I'm able to to contribute my bit of that to the the Forge team. Um, you know, there's there's I don't know, I think there's 23 of us as players involved in that squad, either 23 or 21. Um, so I'm sure that I'll have a few of my teammates in the Forge as well, which um, 
you know, is going to help. And we'll be spread out throughout the whole tournament, to be fair. So, it's, you know, maybe it'll be a bit of a, a good vibe off, but we'll, we'll see who's able to kind of capture that and, and make it count. And you've obviously played a lot of box lacrosse and a lot of field lacrosse in, in your career. Um, which of the formats comes closer to the Sixes game, do you think? And which version do you take most of your Sixes skills from? So for me, what I try and draw from is is definitely the box side. Um, there's elements, particularly in attack, but I think increasingly, actually, having watched the World Games, there's some defensive elements that um, that we play as a system in in the national team for box that I think could really translate very well to to sixes. Um, so for for me, I draw more from the box, but that's not to say that that that's the right way of doing it. I I think I'm my body type and my style of play is very suited to to the two man game and to kind of communicating and and physical defense and all that stuff which is very box heavy but i look at what the guys did in um in the world games you know representing gb and i look at the likes of alex russell who definitely leans on on more of a field style to his sixes and is obviously way more a, a accomplished in sixes than than I am um, and it and it absolutely translates fantastically so I, I think there's bits um, that you can take from both games for sure. And just finally at present you're the only player to have been announced as part of the Forge men's team for 2023 uh, there'll obviously be some more announcements over the coming months but what type of player are you hoping will join you in the team and what do you think it takes to be a successful sixes player? Um. Wow. So two, I guess two parts to that question. So um, knowing the type of player that, that I am, I'd definitely like to see some some kind of out and out goal scorers come into the team. You know, people for me to throw the ball to because that's never going to be me. Um, unfortunately, I, I can chip in where I can, but I'd like someone, you know, someone on the pointy end for sure. Um, maybe some left handers would be nice knowing that um it's important to balance the field, I think, in sixes as in box. Um, you know, for, I, I don't think, honestly, I don't think anybody really knows what it takes to be a successful sixes player yet. I loved watching Canada play in in the World Games. I think you look at some of the, the kind of two-way um, players that they have access to, and I think that there's some great examples of those. I, I don't I didn't expect to be singing Alex Russell's praises on on this call, particularly given he's the opposition. But he would be a British example of, of someone who can uh, both attack and defend and, and spark transition. I think that's really important in sixes um, for sure. I'm really interested to see if we find more of the kind of um, you know, maybe a, a Mark Matthews type intelligent uh, ball handling goal scorer creep into some of these teams. Um, the yeah, we, we'll we'll have to see, but you know, there's certainly a space for I think for a few different types of players, and we've got to find out what the winning formula looks like, really.